when the narcissist doesn't return to you. Sometimes the narcissist won't return to you because in most situations their minds are on something else. They're preoccupied with another source of supply. They found someone else to replace you. But this isn't something that happened after they left you. They targeted someone else while they were devaluing you, while they were still with you. Which is why they started to pay less and less attention to you because this other person has their full attention. They have a strong but unreasonable feeling of attraction for this person. But first they have to put you down before they can see this other person as the one who makes them happy. The one who makes them feel like they're attractive, elaborate and impressive while you are just a piece of garbage. You're this utterly worthless, contemptible person who is beneath their consideration. Which is what they're trying to get rid of because they're trying to move on. But first they have to ensure that this new person is going to be susceptible to their manipulation. So while they're with you, they will be talking to someone else behind your back until they finally discard you. But this isn't something that happens immediately. It takes time for them to prepare and train their next victim. But if they know that you're still interested in being with them, they will toy with you. They will tease and entice you. They will deal lightly with your emotions because they've got you to persevere. They've got you to continue in a course of action, even with little or no indication of success, by not giving you a sense of resolution or conclusion. So they already know that you're confused. They know you're looking for answers, which is exactly what they want. Because then they know you're going to do as much as you can to try to fix it. They know you're going to try to make things right and that is when they will return to you. But if you figure them out and you've told them that you know who they are, you've told them that you're not going to fall for their nonsense, lies or exaggeration anymore. They know their scheme and deception has been revealed. They know their dishonest activity has been discovered. They know that you've seen through their trick. So they know it's no longer fooling you. You're no longer under their spell. So now they're no longer going to be able to manipulate you in the same way as they did before. It's not going to work. Because you figured them out. You know what's going on. So from that point on, all they're going to do is misbehave. They're just going to cause you trouble. They're going to act in a way that is different from what is normal or expected. They're not even going to bother to play the game anymore. They're going to show you who they are because they know it's only a matter of time until you get rid of them because you figure them out. In these situations 
they will only return to you to test your state of mind. To see if you're really serious about not wanting to deal with them anymore. So they will come back. Acting as though they finally realize what they did wrong. They will acknowledge or disclose their faults or flaws. They will say that they've realized so many things. They've realized how special and important you are. But they're just talking nonsense in an attempt to deceive you. And if you realize that, then they know that you have them completely figured out. You have their number. You know them well enough to anticipate what they're going to do. So now there's nothing for them to obtain from you. Because now they know you're not going to invest your money or emotions into them. They're not going to get anything out of you. So it's a done deal. They're gone. They're finished. You won't hear from them again. They have to set their sights on someone else. Because it doesn't make any sense for them to return to you. Because you're not going to give them what they want. Which is how the power is in your hands. You have complete power in this situation. Because you've already rejected them. You've caused a narcissistic injury. You've wounded their ego. You've slighted their false image. You've showed them that you have the power to walk away. Even though they didn't think that you did. Because they estimated you as being something that is less important than it really is. So they never thought that you were going to leave. But once you've decided to leave, based on valid reason and good judgement, they know you're not coming back. So they have to move on to the next target. Because you know they don't hold any importance, value or usefulness. You know they don't want to do good or helpful things. You know they don't have your best interest in mind. So you figure them out. You know they fooled you. You know they played a joke or trick on you. You know what they're about. So there's no reason for the situation to continue. Because when they leave you, they want you to lose your ability to function efficiently. They want you to be sad and confused. So that you can't move on and do something with your life. They want you to feel like you have lost something. Which can keep many victims stuck. While the narcissist moves on feeling good about leaving you. But sometimes they still want to be informed of your situation. So that they can see the damage they've done. So that they can see you're still suffering. That's one of the main reasons why they come back after they've left you. Because they want to see how much it's still affecting you. So they will come back from time to time. But if you don't let it get to you. And you're still able to do the things that you need to do. That means that they failed in trying to destroy you. Because you turned it into something positive. Which is a major setback to them. It's a severe disappointment. The best revenge is your success. So when they check back in. And they see that you're happy and you're doing well. Why would they try to return to you? When you know what they're about, when you don't want anything to do with them, they would be wasting their time and energy. It wouldn't make any sense for them to return 
once you've figured them out. Once you've moved on with your life and you're not affected by their attempts to bring you down. It would be a big risk for them to try to return to a powerful and dynamic person. Because now you're moving forward in a purposeful way. You're becoming better and greater. And your success and recovery dissolves the narcissist. It causes them to leave or disappear immediately because they can't stand it. So when you continue to grow and succeed, it causes a narcissistic injury. It wounds their ego. It slights their false image. So when the narcissist doesn't return to you, It means that you've won. You've defeated them. They're not going to try to follow you on your path or direction. They're going to find someone who is unsuspecting. Someone who is not aware of the presence of danger. Someone who feels no suspicion. Someone who they can catch off guard. Even if they are lower in position. Even if they are at a lower standard. They know they can't do anything with you. Because you have made them ineffective. They can't affect you. So if the narcissist is still trying to return to you, they still see you as a joke. They still think you're weak. But when the narcissist doesn't try to return to you, it's because they realize you're not something they can amuse themselves with. They realize you're not something to mess with. So they're not going to waste their efforts pursuing you they'll go and find someone else. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonate with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.